Many medical researchers believe that stem cell treatments have the potential to change the face of human disease. Stem cells have the ability to renew themselves. And if research can make it possible to replace diseased and damaged organs and areas in the body, then life will be a lot better and longer for patients that today suffer severely from different diseases. Stem cells have the unique capacity to sustain the production of all cells that are needed in our tissues and organs for the whole of our life. And this means that if we can use stem cells to replace certain tissues or organs that are diseased, we will be able to get a sustainable cure for these diseases. In Sweden, Lund and Uppsala universities have joined forces in a strategic research initiative, stem therapy. Our idea is that by joining forces and creating the research environment, we will benefit and we will progress towards the clinical translation of the stem cell research much easier and much more efficiently. Within stem therapy, there are many strong research groups, and stem therapy is aiming at becoming a major force in translational research. In stem therapy, we are trying to take knowledge that we gain in the laboratories, basic scientific knowledge, and translate that into clinical practice. And this is done through joint collaborations between basic researchers and clinicians. At STEM therapy, cutting-edge science takes place. One example of a breakthrough within STEM therapy uh, relates to hematopoietic stem cells, where STEM therapy researchers have been able to define novel mechanisms that regulate hematopoietic stem cells. The use of stem cells is politically controversial in many parts of the world. In Sweden, it is allowed to do research on fertilized eggs if the aim is to cure severe diseases. Um, in many countries it is forbidden to work with the, with the blastocysts and embryonic stem cells. There are, however, uh, recent developments which probably in the future will allow to avoid using uh, blastocyst-derived embryonic stem cells, like skin-derived uh, induced pluripotent stem cells gives the opportunity to use patients' own skin cells in order to generate stem cells. Within stem therapy, all research shares state-of-the-art technology and highly advanced facilities. What we have done is we've created uh, a facility that is open to all the members of the uh, stem cell center, and particularly stem therapy users, that uh, allows for the interaction between groups um, and sharing of resources and ideas that further advances uh, stem cell research. STEM therapy takes advantage of a distinguished advisory board. The members have excellent knowledge within their fields. I believe this um, field has an enormous potential for um, our way we will address uh, diseases in the future. Um, stem therapy can actually contribute a lot, especially by promoting young researchers and open uh, opportunities for them to become really excellent in these highly competitive fields. The, the most immediate challenge is to improve the science so that we really can exploit the great potential that these cells are going to have. But once that science has been exploited, then we really have to find a way of applying it to human beings so it can be done safely and effectively. And that's a challenge that really requires the integration of a lot of different types of people with different skill sets. And that, I think, is where the STEM therapy uh, and the whole program here are going to be very useful. We are so much dependent on research being undertaken in universities because they're really doing the basic research and to say the in-depth understanding on what is going on in stem cell when they go from stem cells to mature cells. It's so new area. And you're talking about a product based on living cells, and that's very unusual to industry. So for us, it's also a what's called paradigm shift. So we need to learn a lot from the research so we can use it properly in the development and later on commercialization of a product. To provide for the future, STEM therapy promotes junior researchers with the help of a certain research school in stem cell biology. It's not only giving them opportunity to 
make strong career, but also to contribute to this environment with their knowledge and with that technology which they bring and by which they enrich our environment. The main goal for stem therapy is highly set, to be able to create advanced stem cell based therapies that are safe and efficient for the patients. Today we use stem cells mainly to treat hematological diseases uh, and the hope is that in the future we will be able to improve these treatments to make them better and safer but also that we should extend the treatments to other organs such as the brain or to treat diabetes.